Can you win anything in Japanese arcades? That is the question I'm going to try and answer today. I've got 5,000 yen. Now, that's just slightly under $50. And what we're going to visit two arcades here in Japan, play games where there's prizes, and just see if we can win anything. That's the goal, winning anything. Because from what I've played so far, it seems pretty difficult. The first arcade is in a shopping center called Aeon. We're actually up on the eighth floor. We've got a bunch of games, and it goes on back around there, and there's a lot more. First of all, we're going to have to get some change with all these bills. So you basically just put it in here, you get your 100 yen coins. I do love that they give you cups here to hold all of them in. We're going to start with these tiny claw machines. These are actually very small. I mean, here's my hand next to it. With these, it's uh, almost all games are 100 yen, which is like a dollar to play. However, for 500 yen, you can get six plays on almost every game. We'll play this first because I really want to try and get that little Donald. All right, I mean, that's probably as good as it'll go. I feel like it's not going to actually grab anything. Yep, as I expected. This Pokemon game is essentially the same claw. It's set up a little different. A little easier to get underneath your target. But again, I feel like it's not going to actually grab it. We're going to try this frozen thing here. I believe it's kind of like a coin pusher. Because if you look down here, you see this little shelf item. Let's try it out. Oh, so it scoops. Got some rubies there. Oh, look at that! Just one try on this Frozen game with the little pushing shelf, and I got this box of candy. I don't really know what's in it, and uh, we'll probably check that out later. So, we're off to a good start. We've only spent 300 yen, so it's a $3 candy box. They have a lot of different themes for these Ruby Pusher things. You got Pokemon, there's a candy one, and there's this, which I've seen everywhere in a lot of stores. I think it might be a new anime movie coming out. Not so sure. You've got this huge game here with claws around on all four sides. Socks, bean things. I think I'm going to try this one only because socks would probably be the most practical thing to win. A quick note about most Japanese claw machines I've seen is you'll have two buttons. you got to hold it down to go right or left depending on the machine and the other one to go out. There's no do-overs so you got to kind of time it right which I find isn't so difficult, but for kids that might be kind of a pain. All right, I'm gonna go for that closest pair of socks right there. Let's see how this claw actually moves. Okay, so it moves sideways. Then it moves back. And if anything, I feel it should just slide on down. Yeah, that claw did literally nothing. You've got this one, which is very similar to like the S cube and the one with the key, where you basically just have to push the item out. They always make it look so easy, but this one's even more challenging because of how every layer is just slightly offset from each other. Now here's a proper massive coin pusher. I won't be playing this because this is actually to get tokens, not money or prizes or anything. You just redeem it over at the prize counter, which is over here. Now even though the arcade has a bunch of other games, I'm only playing the ones where there's a prize to be won. Now here's where we get into weird territory. These are some kind of games I just haven't really seen before until coming to Japan. We'll play this one first. It seems like it's a simple concept. You have these items just sitting here. All you have to do is get it to fall in between and you use a crane. But as you see, this will be a little bit difficult. So we'll just do 100 yen. Same concept as before. We'll go for that little yellow towel thing. And it looks like it's gonna be a perfect grab. But what happens is, the claw does nothing. If you look at this one, it just looks so easy to get. But it's just, just right in between both bars. So even if the claw did kind of nudge it, it's just so difficult. Then you have this one where you have these different dried snacks in a tube. Just because you grab it doesn't mean you win. These claws are a lot better. They will grab it, but then it drops it here on the spinning thing. So you'll see it's grabbed it. So you start to feel like a winner for a few seconds. And then that happens. Let's try this one. It's gonna scoop up these candy things, drops it on the bouncy paracord. And again, you only win if you get it in the hole. So we got one. And, oh, look at that. Almost could have been a winner. 
Here's where you win weird things like olive oil, I think like, what's that, barbecue or something? Some kind of syrup, a fried bag of whatever that is. But keep in mind, this is the souvenir corner of attention. This one I'm still not 100% sure on, but I really think what you need to do is move that hook to grab this grate. And I guess it makes the thing fall out somehow. I only know this because you look at the picture and it says, get. Come on, I want that syrup. It's just... And it stops for a moment. So it settles out and isn't really swinging, so it's a lot more difficult to grab. Oh, I... Oh my goodness. After that moment of excitement and seeing how I loosened it, I'm gonna play this one a few more times. Oh, definitely have to do this chocolate one because it picks it up and drops it on a balloon. Oh. Okay, this is one that just looks like it's asking to be won. You have this bag that's like just kind of hanging off the side here. So we'll try it. Again, I know it's not gonna be simple because none of these are. Oh. Okay, you saw that, right? That thing's like gotta be taped on the back or something. They have a lot of these ones as well. They also look like they're super easy to win. It almost looks like the thing's getting ready to fall. But as you'll see, and it tips the side almost every time and that's what'll happen. It's gonna stay like that forever until they reset it. I must say, as you'll see, these games can be incredibly difficult to win. I'm still having a lot of fun. It, it is totally worth it to play games in a Japanese arcade. I have no idea how that's even supposed to happen. It's clearly wedged in between the poles and you have the world's weakest claw that couldn't even pick that box up a little bit. How are you supposed to win that? I will try this one though, because these are the better claws and it looks kind of simple, make the box fall in the middle. These boxes are pretty wide, they probably have to fit just right. And the edges of it are kind of rounded, but we'll try. I'm gonna go for this one on the right because you'll see it's the smallest in depth. See what comes of this? I'm sure it'll grab it no problem, yep. But will it fit through? Oh! All right, I am actually thoroughly surprised. I won in one try on this machine here. I got this one piece, like, figurine thing. It looks like it's something that's actually would cost quite a bit of money in a store. Because I won this, I am gonna try it one more time. Huh. I just have to try this one out of curiosity now to see if this claw will actually do anything at all. <laughs> it pushed the box in deeper. Maybe if you play it enough times and punch it all the way down, you'll get it. And of all the claw machines here, this one is the biggest claw. Usually big claws are just not that great, but I'm gonna give it a try. This one's actually 200 yen for one play. However, you do get to use this, which I guess is nice. I haven't had a problem with the way the other ones were though. I figure a pillow is really light. I think I got it lined up pretty good. About as good as it can get, I suppose. Oh, it's gonna fall. Hi. Hi. I didn't film it, but I just played this baby claw machine and I got these uh, Twisted Wonderland cards. So that's cool. My rule now is if I win, I'm, I'm gonna play again on any machine. I like the music on this one. Let's see if we can do it again. These cards are so light that it's just easy to pick them up. Disney's Twisted Wonderland, by the way. It's a mobile game here in Japan. Oh wow, look at that. I'm gonna be two for two. Oh, I spoke too soon. I knocked this Bluetooth speaker so close that it's gonna do it for the Aeon Arcade. I had to stop myself because we're like halfway through the 5,000 yen and we still have another arcade to go to. So far we've got a thing of candy, a pack of Twisted Wonderland Disney cards, and this figure statue, which honestly, this is all a lot more than I expected to get. And we're in the last arcade, which is in a mall, but fantastically enough, they have a Toys R Us. It's a really good Toys R Us too. 
Here's a double decker claw. This has more of those Twisted Wonderland cards, but they're in a little canister. I can't not play this one though, because look at that Pooh Bear dressed like Mickey. And there's a Mickey dressed like Pooh. This is incredible. I'm sure the claw is gonna be complete trash though. Let's give it a go. Yeah. As expected. Now with this, it looks like a logical thing to do would be to try and grab it from the back to make the front tip over and fall out. It just looks so easy. But again, I'm sure it's stuck on there pretty good. Well, it moved it. Oh, wow. I so should have won that. This is pretty funny. As soon as I walked away, an attendant quickly came over. They're very fast here but uh, opened the machine up and gave me this. So apparently I was supposed to win it by knocking it over like that. It just got stuck. So it seems a little odd. It almost seems like every time it'll get stuck in that angle, but that's how you win it. So if you ever have that happen, you let someone know and uh, you actually did win. I got this machine. This machine has these really cool like figures from that anime movie thing that's really popular right now. But in the machine, they don't have the figures to win. It's just like a, looks like a towel and shirts. I'm gonna try one of these machines again because you would think a towel would be the easiest thing because of how light it is. But as you'll see, I bet it'll sit there sideways and that'll be it. Yep. And there it shall stay. The first time I ever played this machine, I got really excited because it's actually pretty easy to get the cars. You'll see I've got it and I thought I was a winner and then watch what it does. Oh, I did win. Most of the time it'll just bounce and land up here but you can see if it falls down either through the hole or on the side, you win. All right, got an Enzo Ferrari under that. You know the rule now, I'm gonna play it again because I won try and get the truck in the back. And... Have you ever wanted a katana from an arcade machine? Because that's what they've got here. I haven't seen this machine before. I think you have to knock that over and pull the peg out or something. Let's see. Okay. Funny thing is there's so much weight and pressure pulling down on that, it's gonna be really difficult to get that to slide out. Got another spinner, let's give it a go. See if we can get lucky. Oh, this is the tiniest claw machine I've ever seen. But they got Mario Kart. Let's see if we can get that toad. Nothing to grip. Oh, Oh. This arcade has the syrup too, so for the last game, that's what I'm gonna go for. Nah, no way it's catching. Nope. All right, I'm done with my 5,000 yen. Now let's go ahead and get back and take a look at all the stuff that I got and see what it all actually is. And here's a look at everything we won with 5,000 yen, little under $50 in an arcade. Let's check these things out. First off, these cards, they're pretty cool. They're like shiny, heavy duty. They're not like paper cards. So if you're a fan of Twisted Wonderland, I think you'll like it. Turns out the frozen candy is actually frozen cards. It's just a mini set of cards. What surprises me is I went to Toys R Us right after. I wanted to find the prices of some of these things because I feel like, again, this might be worth something. And this car actually sells for 800 yen. So that's like a little under $8 for this car. I know that because I actually bought this initial D one. They're the same things. All the cars are at least $800 or sorry, 800 yen. So that's kind of wild to me. They have Hot Wheels, which are like over 200, almost 300 yen. But this brand is like 800. Here's the car. Nothing too special. It's got some good detail. Um, essentially, it's a lot like a Hot Wheels though. The wheels do bounce, which is cool, and it is a little bit wider, so there's that. This big thing, which I thought were like little fruit snacks, uh, actually was filled with 
it almost looks like a Slim Jim, some kind of little meat sticks. So I've got a ton of these now. And lastly, we have this One Piece character. I don't know who this character is, but look at the size of that, and it's got some really good detail. Unfortunately, I'm having difficulties getting my camera to autofocus, but this is surprisingly detailed. I, I looked up prices. This guy goes for like 15 to $30 which sounds about right, actually sounds a little cheaper than I would have, would have expected. So that's an awesome win right there. All in all, great day at the arcade. I'm amazed that I won all of that stuff for the 5,000 yen that I was playing with. Like I went a few days ago and I don't know how much I spent, but I didn't win anything. So the fact that I won some of that was actually surprising to me. You can clearly see some of those Japanese games are kind of rigged and it's just, there's no way you can win. Some of the others are a little more fair though. The tiny, tiny claw machines, I think those are kind of fair. The little pushers, the ruby pushers, um, you can win, you'll win at those eventually. But the bigger prizes, it's just kind of pure luck. There's a little bit of skill involved, but it seems like it's mostly luck. And some of them, there's just no way to win. But the most important thing is, it is a lot of fun. I didn't film every game I played. Uh, that would have just, yeah, that would have been too much. But I highly recommend checking out an arcade if you're in Japan, even though your chances of winning are very slim unless you're playing one of the small prize games. But that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. The caravan is moving on.